No, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> now, my man, we don't want anything in your line today, and if your curiosity is satisfied, you can go. You mustn't call me your man. It's a liberty. I don't think you know who I am. Not we, indeed. We are jolly gondoliers, the sons of Battisto Farmieri, who led the last revolution. Republicans, heart and soul, we hold all men to be equal. As we abhor oppression, we abhor kings. As we detest vain glory, we detest rank. As we despise effeminacy, we despise wealth. We are Venetian gondoliers, your equals in everything except our calling, and in that at once your masters and your servants. <laughs> Bless my heart, how unfortunate. <laughs> the one of you may be Baptisto's son for anything I know to the contrary. But the other is no less a personage than the only son of the late King of Babataria. What? What? And I trust, I trust it was that one who slapped me on the shoulder and called me his man. <laughs> one of us a king? The King of Babataria? Well, who'd have thought it? But which is it? Well, what does it matter? As you are both Republicans and old kings in detestation, of course you will abdicate at once. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, no, don't do that! Well, uh, as to that, uh, there are kings and kings. When I say that I detest kings, I mean that I detest bad kings. I see. It's a delicate distinction. Quite so. Uh, now, I can conceive a king, an ideal king, the creature of my fancy, you know, who would be absolutely unobjectionable. A king, for instance, who would abolish taxes and make everything cheap, except gondolas. And give a great free many entertainments to the gondoliers. And never fire us on the Grand Canal, and engage all the gondolas for the occasion. And help you take out a super injunction whenever you like. <laughs> Such a king would be a blessing to his people, and if... I were a king, that is the sort of king I would be. And so would I. Come, I'm glad to find your objections are not insuperable. Oh, oh no, no, they're, they're not insuperable. No, no, they're not insuperable. Besides, we are open to conviction. Oh, yes, they are open to conviction. Oh, they've often been convicted. <laughs> Our views may have been hastily formed on insufficient grounds. They may be crude, ill-digested, erroneous. I have a very poor opinion of the politician who is not open to conviction. Oh, he's a fine fellow. Yes, that's the sort of politician for my money. Then we'll consider it settled. Now, as the country is in a state of insurrection, it is absolutely necessary that you should assume the reins of government at once. And until it is ascertained which of you is to be king, I have arranged that you shall reign jointly, so that no question may arise hereafter as to the validity of any of your acts. As one individual? As one individual. Like this? <laughs> Something like that. And we may take our friends with us and give them places about the court? Oh, undoubtedly, that's always done. <laughs> I'm convinced. So am I. Yeah, but the sooner we're off, the better. Well, don't just go home and have a few things. Stop! Stop! That won't do at all. Ladies are not admitted. What? what? Not admitted. Not at present. Afterwards, perhaps, we'll see. Why, well, you don't mean to say you're going to separate us from our wives? It's very awkward. Only for a time, a few months. After all, what is a few months? But we've only been married half an hour. <laughs> Some sort of life explanation, not unless you're just 
Who hunts the sheep, the aristocrat, who cleans our boots, they all shall equal me.